Okay, we have uh, a resolution, humanitarian assistance policy. It's a pretty straightforward resolution. Uh, everybody has had a chance to read it. And uh, for those in the audience, this has to do with uh, missing pets or missing children or people. Um, and we want to have a, the ability to post a sign uh, within our town of property in the front gate certain guidelines. Open for um, discussion. Great, good. Uh, last two bullets. Uh, you want to define the, the size of the sign up inches. It's more than just a poster, sorry, vertical poster board size. Also, if you could, uh, I think, definite timelines need to be set as to how long any sign what do you recommend for inches and timelines? It really depends on the circumstances. It's a case by case call. That's right back into an open picture again. But I think a, a lost child, obviously, there, we have a whole different issues to it. And I think this, this resolution should probably just address with pets. Because I think a lost child goes to such other extremes. It probably will fall way outside of this resolution. So I think my recommendation is you know, just for pets, lost pets. And I think no longer than maybe two, three days at the existing gate, the sign is a uh, sign that we purchased, the association purchases to so some consistency with the existing sign of color and shape. And that we, uh, and that we don't have to be going out there and screaming the sign back up and trying to figure out how to mount it into the how to fix it to the ground so it doesn't go over. Okay. Um, with, with all respect to the boys, because of boys and cat, um, I don't know that we need a resolution. The first thing I would say, and I'm a definite pet lover, is that I don't think of the same paragraph a pet is the same as a child. And, and, and it's serious because these people have lost their cat. It means a lot. To them. Um, but the example of what happened with this, it wouldn't have made any difference if we had a resolution or not. As an example, the website on the front page, now I think two weeks after this is out, still has a picture of the cat. We have the sign at the gate, two weeks after it's out, still there. There wasn't one sign posted. There was a sign posted to the gate that lifts up and down. It was not only posted where it's, it's legal to post it on the bulletin boards at each mail station. It was plastered on big one on top of the official message board that's for official business only. It was pasted to the outside of some of the mail stations. So I'm not sure having a policy would have made any difference to what happened. We do have the capability of someone putting a sign up at every mail station. There's a separate bulletin board there for a lost pet. A lost child, we do something completely different. The whole community is something completely different for a lost child. So I think what we have right now for a pet is satisfactory. As much as I like pets, you can post a sign at the mail stations where everybody goes every day. And that can stay up as long as someone wants it to. We have no requirements to take it down. Anything else to take I agree. I don't think we need a resolution. I don't think we need a resolution either. Again, you're trying to <coughs> cover all the bases for every situation that can happen and we'll never do it. I jotted notes down, micromanagement. Uh, I think it's silly to worry about this resolution. Chris. Although I agree with everything that Pat said, I think that there is a larger view here, which has actually been my, my primary issue with this. Uh, and that is that, uh, excluding a child, which I thought was not appropriate to include in, in what we were trying to do here. Uh, when we go beyond something as obvious as a child, 
Can we get into Miss Boyd's cat or Noel's dog? Uh, or it might be somebody's gerbil uh, or pet snake. But I'm not concerned about that as much as I am. What we're doing is we're looking at an individualized perception of an exception. And I frankly think that there would be a tremendous argument that that cat's important to you, but if I don't sell my house in this next month, I'm going to go bankrupt. Now, you tell me which is more important. Somebody claiming that their cat is lost and they're broken hearted, or somebody claiming that if they can't put a sign out front for sale for their house, that they're going to go bankrupt in the next month. And that's not an extreme situation. Not at all. If, in fact, we're going to have any signs out there that are individualized, how are we going to discriminate between somebody's love for a cat and somebody's, let's say, financial security? What if somebody is, is going to be taken to court if they don't sell their truck? Do we allow them to put their, their, their I want to sell this truck out there? Because personally, it's important to me. I just don't think that rules can be individualized like that. Not based upon that kind of criteria. If we want to talk about humanitarianism, then we can talk about the children. If we want to talk about individualization of priorities, then we're into a really, really sticky place. And I don't think we can do that. I agree with Pat. There's facility for that kind of signage. <clears throat> but if we're going to have a cat sign out there, I think it's just as legitimate for somebody to say, well, I've got to sell my house. I, I, I understand the arguments. I've been on the receiving end of several, several of the cat calls, and and I and I and I sympathize with with the folks who have uh, lost a something that is that is important to them. Uh, Chris's point, Pat's point is well taken. Where do you draw the line? I, I, I don't know how to do that. I come back. I come back again that there is an ability to place a sign at every single mail station in this community on the board of the board that's specified for that as long as you wish to do it. Yes. There's one problem with that is that not everyone has a mailbox at a mail station. Some people never go in there. Put it in the window of who? The post office will put it in the window. Oh. Further discussion? And the consensus seems to be that we do not adopt this. So uh, I don't think we have no motion on the table. So we'll drop it. I think we need to have a motion on the table so we can inject it. I move that we approve this policy statement as written. I'm sorry. I move <laughs> that we approve this policy statement as written. That is the motion on the floor. Further discussion? Yes. Well. I, I'm not going to disagree with what's being said. Uh, because you don't classify a pet as much as I love my pets and the same thing as you do with children. Um, I was on the receiving end of many of Mrs. Boyd's calls and I know how she felt. Uh, however, when I first approached um, Wayne with this, I was told we don't make exceptions. The rule is a rule. We don't put signs. And this would be an exception. And even though I would really like for her to have her sign out there, because she's so distraught, I think this would be making an exception to our rules that we have. Good discussion. 
All those in favor of the motion? Since I told her I would vote for the motion, I vote for the Since I wrote it, I'll vote for it. <laughs> but I understand the opposition. All opposed? John Bartell, Dave Vermeyer, Margaret Hoffman in favor, the rest of the Very good.